four years ago we went to Italy um, and, and that was a great trip. Uh, we wanted to spend a little bit less time uh, away. Uh, just last year they changed that rule where your new players are allowed to come as long as they've taken uh, a certain number of credits during the summer. So uh, this year we actually have uh, six new players that'll be with us along with our returning guys. We'll have 14 guys travel uh, Sunday morning. You know, for your team and your team chemistry, um, it, it certainly is really invaluable getting these 10 practices, getting to work together, and then getting to experience what these kids will experience uh, next week. I first found out that we're going to the Bahamas, I think early summer, and I was excited because if I had anywhere to pick, it definitely would have been somewhere like somewhere tropical. Looking forward to obviously uh, seeing what the competition is like out there. Also getting to see Atlantis, you know, it's like one of the number one vacation spots you could go to. We'll play four games in the six days, uh, and, and then the other two days that we're not playing, one day they have uh, something that they're calling the amazing race. I think our kids will like, they probably initially won't like it, the thought of it, but then whenever there's some sort of competition, our kids sort of get, get uh, enthused for that. So I think that'll be a great team building thing, and then they're gonna take us on a sailing trip one day uh, as well, uh, which, you know, again, I don't know how many of our kids uh, have gotten the opportunity to, to do something like that. So it's a unique experience, and, and I think for a lot of our players, uh, it, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for them. Our practices have been good. They've been enthusiastic. Uh, they've been pretty competitive, uh, which I've been happy with. And it's allowed our new kids to get acclimated to how we do things. And we've also seen some improvement and some leadership growth out of uh, some of the returning players because even the returners are stepping into new roles. Dev Manley uh, played 10 minutes a game last year. Well, he's going to play much more than that this year. So I want to see how he handles that. You know, Chris Brewer is a captain this year. I want to see how his leadership evolves. You know, Mark Henniger has been great every day in practice. I want to see if it translates into games. You know, Kalik Spicer. Uh, Chris Ortiz, they're not freshmen anymore. So I'm expecting to see a jump out of their production. We got a new young team, and then we got some experienced guys too, but uh, it seems like the team this year really works hard. You know, obviously, it's my last year, so I want to go out with a bang. I know I want them to have a good time. I'm not going to uh, be on them when we're not on the court, but I want to see when we are on the court that uh, it's a business-like approach. Uh, I want to see our guys get after it on the defensive end, which is what we focused on a great deal. And uh, I want to see how hard our guys play, uh, knowing that, hey, these, these games, they don't count, but we're keeping score now. It's not practice.